A big step for a proposed mine in the western UP today. Board members for the Michigan Strategic Fund voted unanimously to grant a $50 million grant to aid the company's development of the Copperwood Copper Mine. But there are some strings attached. Today vote was bumped from a meeting. Today's vote was bumped from a meeting back in January where concerns about Highland's financing abilities were raised. As of December, the company had about $20 million in cash. Since then, a new agreement was drafted that stipulates no money can be given out unless the company raises $150 million of funding. Cindy Warner with the MSF explains the other stipulation. Over 100 people signed up to speak to the board during the public hearing this morning. And while many speakers were welcoming to the mine's promise of jobs and a better economy, several critics spoke up about potential, potentially irreversible damage to the environment. After the motion was passed, Highland Copper CEO addressed some concerns during a news conference this afternoon. Uh, copper was it, Copperwood is an underground mine which minimizes surface impact. I want to be very clear that this is not an acid generating mine as determined by our testing, but also agreed with by the state permitting authority, Eagle. Um, we listened very specifically to local concerns and re-engineered our water solution in 2023. So to be clear, we will not be drawing water uh, from Lake Superior. Some work is currently underway to prepare the site. O'Shea said he expects construction on the mine to begin next spring and that we could see ore coming out of the ground in as soon as two years. You can find our full story at upmatters.com.